Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to create a block with multiple textures. Um, I'm going to be starting off with the source code from my custom block textures tutorial. Um, you can download it from there or just uh, use whatever uh, block with the texture you might have. And the first thing we're going to do is actually um, bring in our uh, second texture. I'm only going to be talking about how to do a block with two textures. Um, it'll be one for the sides and one for the top and the bottom. But it's easily um, applicable to a block with any combination of textures, and I will uh, tell you how to do that. It's, you know, a very similar process. Um, but the uh, texture that I'll be using is actually from my Underground Bunkers mod, and it's this BunkerLight.png. Um, and I'm going to be I'm going to copy it, um, and then I'm going to put it inside of our um, textures folder. And we're going to call it block tutorial underscore top dot png. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our block tutorial uh, dot java, and we are going to um, add a new variable here. And that is going to be at side only, um, side only, side dot client. And I misspelled side only. There is only one O. Um, so this is going to create a variable only on the client side. This is not going to be a server level uh, variable. And the reason we're doing this is because it relates directly to a texture um, as opposed to any uh, like block code that the server might um, use. Um, the re another reason we're doing this is in case your mod supports say texture packs then different people if you're running the mod on the server might be using different texture packs and so you need to account for that. But um, anyway this variable is going to be a private icon and we're going to call it top texture and I'm going to actually rename that um, as such and we're going to import icon from net.minecraft.util not javax.swing go away so now um, we're going to register our icon and the way we're going to do this is inside of our at site only we're going to say this dot block or dot sorry top texture equals reg dot register icon and we're going to say tutorial dot my id plus a colon plus texture name and then we're going to say plus and then inside of quotation marks underscore top so this is going to just search for whatever our texture name is underscore top, in this case, our block tutorial dot top, um, underscore top dot png. So now after we've registered our um, texture, we're going to, we're going to have to apply this to different um, sides of our block. And the way we do this is we say public, or sorry, at side only, side dot, whoop, side dot client, public icon get icon and the parameters are int side and int metadata. I'm just going to call that meta. Uh, we're not going to be messing with metadata right now. I will talk to you about how to do that probably in a later tutorial. Um, metadata is a kind of confusing topic to start with and it's kind of difficult to explain. So I'm not going to talk about it at all um, at all in this tutorial. But once um, we can actually talk about the sides, obviously that's what this tutorial is about. Um, so inside of our method here, you'll see it's giving us an error because we haven't yet uh, set up a return statement. We're going to add an if statement, and this is going to be if side equal equal. And here you can put the side. The sides go from 0 to 5, and sides 1 and 0 are the top and bottom 
I'm not sure if that's respectively or not. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure which. Uh, if the top is one or if the bottom is one, but that doesn't really matter for this specific instance um, because we're going to have both the top and the bottom use the same texture. Uh, if you were setting up uh, your own block and you wanted to have a different texture for the top and the bottom, you can just play around with that. Uh, please post that in the comments below so that you can help out other people. Um, but we're going to say if side equal equal zero or um, and or is two pipes side equal equal one then we're going to return this dot top texture and then outside of the if statement we can just say return this dot lock icon now um, the reason we don't have to have an if statement for the remaining sides, if you don't know this, is because on saying return this dot top texture, it's um, sorry, it's just going to get right out of the method. So we're not going to um, even run the rest of the code in the method. Now, if you wanted to set up a different texture for different sides of the block, then we would just add more if statements. Um, and we would say if side equal equal say three, um, and then we could um, add more more textures up here, register them inside of register icons, and then set them up um, for displaying on the block. Now, again, I'm not quite sure which number corresponds to which side. You can play around with that. Uh, I hope that's not too difficult for you to do. Um, and it gets even more complicated when you add metadata to the mix, which is why I'm not talking about it in this tutorial. But if we go ahead and run the game, then hopefully nothing will crash on us. Alright, so if we go into our creative world, uh, yes, I want to continue loading. Then, oh, I have to, I have to set it, um, I'm just going to set it to the creative tab dot tab block. Um, it might be a little bit slower than usual. I'm currently rendering out uh, something using Blender, and that takes quite a bit of RAM. So I only have a couple gigabytes to spare, and my screen recorder uses about 75% of that. So, yeah. But anyway, if we go in, then you'll see. At the very bottom here, we at the very bottom here we have our tutorial block, and it has this um, texture on the top and on the bottom. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, source code is in the description as usual. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.